Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for Thursday, January 6. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, our hymn is 856, first antiphon 877, reading 605, canticle 656, Christian prayer book is hymn 14, 824 for the antiphon, 228 for the reading, 691 for the canticle. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, the burning sun with golden beam, the silver moon with softer gleam. Bear up your mighty power, Lord, come to our aid. O shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Lord, God of hosts, how long will you frown upon your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadows, the cedars of God with its bows. It stretched out its branches to the sea, to the great river it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken out down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it. The vine your right hand is planted. Men have burnt it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Stir, Stir up, up your mighty, mighty power, power, Lord, Lord and come, come to our aid. aid. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With you, you will draw water at the fountain of our salvation and say on that day give thanks to the lord acclaim his name 
among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievements. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord has worked, worked marvels for us. us. Make it known to the ends of the world. Bring out your joy to God our strength. Bring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud at the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen to my people, to my warning, O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own design. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bring, Bring out your, your joy, joy to God, God our strength. strength. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Say to daughter Zion, your savior comes. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Today in the book of Isaiah, the prophet announces the coming of the Savior and his holy people will be saved and redeemed by the Lord. Also in the Canticle of Zechariah, it speaks about all people coming from afar bearing gifts. Today in Mexico, they celebrate the Feast of the Three Kings, El Dia de los Reyes, and it's customary to eat a piece of bread that's shaped in the form of a wreath uh, called la rosca and it's shaped in a circular form to represent god's unending love and there's a little baby jesus that'll be hidden in the bread and if you you get the baby jesus you either make tamales or have a feast or a celebration sometime soon but the point is it's a beautiful custom that um, tells us that we should always be seeking Jesus, always be searching for him. And so just like the three kings went in search for the infant Jesus by following the star, we should also always be searching for him. Remember, wise men still seek him. All peoples will be blessed in him, men and women of every race. 
all peoples will be blessed in him, men and women of every race. All nations will acclaim his glory, men and women of every race. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. All peoples, peoples will bless his name, men and women at of every, every race. race. All peoples bearing gifts from, will come from afar. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet from, of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All peoples, peoples bearing gifts will come from afar. afar. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the wonderful works of the Lord, for He has given us hope through the birth of His Son. Let us all cry out with joy. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in, in the, the highest. highest. With angels and patriarchs and prophets, we, we praise, praise you, Lord. Lord. With Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, our, our whole being, being proclaims your greatness, greatness, Lord. With apostles and evangelists, we, we give you thanks, thanks, Lord. With all the holy martyrs, we, we offer, offer our, our bodies to you as a consecrated victim. With all your holy witnesses in the church, we dedicate, dedicate our, our lives to you in deepest faith. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our awesome God. Dear God and Almighty Father, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and everyone praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Father, that you hear and answer our prayers as we say, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, through Christ your Son, the hope of eternal life dawned on our world. Give to us the light of faith, that we may always acknowledge him as our Redeemer, and come to the glory of his kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow.
Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have a great day.